So if you're on coding YouTube a lot, you're going to see a lot of videos that have the title, how I'd learn to code if I could do it all over again. Personally, I think that there's a lot of BS in these videos. And I think that for a lot of viewers, you don't know what to do. So today we're going to talk about how I would learn how to do web development in 2023 if I were just starting out. It's a no BS way to do it though. Who am I? My name is Dylan. I taught myself how to code during the pandemic and I currently work full-time as a programmer at a software startup. On my channel, I share all the lessons that I learned on my journey. So if you're new, kick back, enjoy the ride. Let's jump in and if you really like this stuff, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I'm gonna give a quick PSA here. Learning web development, learning software engineering, learning how to code does not take three months. You're gonna see a lot of videos on YouTube telling you that you can become a Google software engineer in three months and make half a million dollars a year. That's not real, I wouldn't believe it. Coding is a lifelong learning process. It takes years to master. I'm only a few years in and I still consider myself to be an amateur. The second thing, don't do Harvard CS50. I'm not saying that it's a bad course, but a lot of people are going to steer you in the direction of taking this type of course. And personally, I don't think that it's needed. I think that by taking a course like Harvard CS50, you're further just kicking the can down the road. If I were starting on day one, I would hop on Free Code Camp. I would start learning HTML and CSS in the basic web design course that Free Code Camp offers. That's what I did, that's how I learned it. It only took me three weeks to learn. Mind you, I was really putting the hours in every day, so that's why I got through it in three to four weeks. So I think if you're committed, you can do it in less than a month. Once you've completed the web design track on Free Code Camp, I would go on to Udemy or something similar and take a JavaScript course and learn the basics. If I were doing it all over again, I wouldn't try to become a JavaScript master. Understand what a JavaScript function does before you list that you're a web developer on your resume. Like, can you type out a function in the console? Like, this is a super basic concept that you should know how to do. This is basic JavaScript. Once you finish a basic JavaScript and web development course on Udemy, I would build a project that you're interested in. Like ask yourself, what are your interests? What are your passions? What do you like? Don't build a Netflix clone. Everybody does that. Don't build a meta clone. Everybody does that. Like you should be original. Do something that is unique and something that you're passionate about, not what everybody else wants you to do. An advantage of this approach is that when you're actually building the thing, you're more likely to enjoy what it is that you're working on because you like the stuff that you're working on. It's something that you're actually passionate about. So for me, I'm super interested in career development. So I built a job board in vanilla JavaScript and I really like doing that because I'm super interested in what it is that I was building. Make sure that you do it in in the language stripped of any frameworks. This is important because it reinforces the fundamental basics and understanding of the language of your choice. Like you wanna know the basics, like how to write a function, how to write a for loop in JavaScript. It's only until after you've built this project in the vanilla language of your choice that you can build it in a framework. So after I was done building this project in vanilla JavaScript, I then decided to rebuild the project in the framework of my choice, which was React. I was able to better understand React as a result because like I really understood the basics of JavaScript. This is super important because a lot of people are going to tell you that you should immediately start building in the framework of your choice. Taking a quick pause here, this video is not about getting a job. I have made a lot of other videos about that, which I'll link up here. But I wanted to say like, in my opinion, I don't think that you need to go to a boot camp, and I don't think that you need to go back to school and get a CS degree. The main advantage of these two options is honestly just the structure that is provided. And you could also argue probably the community too. But all the material that is offered, it's all free and and cheap on the internet. And like, if you want community, just go to a meetup. They're completely free and meetup organizers want as many people there as possible. Let's say you have a bug in your code, like go to a meetup and ask people, I bet that you can figure it out. At that meetup, rather than paying a bootcamp $17,000 for them to listen to your problems for you. A small rant, there's so many options, like there's so much out there and there's so many people trying to push you in the direction of paying them money so they can convince you that you can get a job in like three months. Like you might be able to by doing one of these programs, but it's highly unlikely. Like you have to put the work in. So my message is this, just Google it. Like you're gonna have to Google it and go on Stack Overflow 
whether you're in a boot camp or doing a CS degree anyways. So like you might as well just get really good at being resourceful yourself. And like I said, go to meetups for collaboration. Like if you have a bug or something, go to a meetup and I'm sure you guys are gonna be able to figure it out. You can also use other resources like YouTube. YouTube is amazing. Stack Overflow is great too. And as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, like there's no hacking your brain. That's all a bunch of clickbait BS. Like you can't hack your brain to learn how to code. It's a brain, it's a muscle. I think it's a muscle. <laughs> like you have to just Google everything. You have to learn to be resourceful. Learn how to struggle and learn how to learn. It's not about the actual coding language or web development technology itself. It's learning how to learn the actual tech. So in summary, if I were just starting out, I would hop on free CoCamp and do the web design course. It's totally free and you'll learn HTML and CSS. If you put in the work every single day, you'll probably be able to get through it in three to four weeks. Then I would hop on Udemy and take a JavaScript focus course or something that's a little more comprehensive and web development. I'll link a couple of example courses in the description and focus on just getting good at the basics of vanilla JavaScript and then take all those skills that you just learned from the last couple of courses and build a project based on something that you're passionate about. Don't build a Netflix clone. Everybody does that. You want to be original. And also the advantage of doing something that you're interested in is that you're more likely to keep doing it because you're interested in doing it. Then when you're done building that project in vanilla JavaScript, you can rebuild it in the framework of your choice. And lastly, you have to learn how to struggle. You have to learn how to learn. Go and Google it. Like there's no brain hacks to this stuff. You can't hack your brain and become more productive and learn how to code. This is stuff that people try to sell you on the internet. Like it's a brain, come on, you can't hack it. It's not a computer. Learn how to struggle and how to gird through problems the real way, the way that everybody else does it. So don't buy into the BS. Anyways, that is how I would learn how to do web development in 2023 if I were just starting out. Again, this is my bold take. This is what I see on YouTube and what I disagree and agree with. So if you like this content, give this video a like so we can push it out to more people and hopefully motivate and inspire others. I make a lot of other videos like this. So feel free to check another one out. I appreciate any support on my channel. Comment below, let me know what you think. Until next time, peace.